Welcome back to our continued coverage of North Carolina's class of 2022 football signing day. This is TarHillIllustrated.com. And if you're watching us on YouTube, our channel there is Tar Heel Illustrated. I'm THI publisher Andrew Jones. And joining me is our director of football recruiting, Dina King. And Dina Bryson Jennings, a four-star strong side defensive end from Clover Hill High School in Midlothian, Virginia. Another kid from Virginia, the number 26 uh, player at his position nationally, the number 10 overall prospect in the Commonwealth of Virginia, six foot six, 240 pounds. He committed to Carolina July 15th and stayed strong and true to his commitment. He has signed his letter of intent with the Tar Heels. So what are your thoughts on Bryson Jennings formally becoming a Tar Heel? It's like a, a repetitive record. Virginia kid who had strong, very strong ties to Virginia Tech because of his dad uh, playing it for uh, for the Hokies. So, you know, it came down to uh, a UNC-Virginia Tech battle and Bryson uh, decided on Tar Heels. Uh, you know, the connections with his dad at Virginia Tech and his dad, you know, knows a lot of, a lot of people up there and, you know, coaching buddies and his dad's a high school coach up there at Clover Hill. So, you know, uh, he's a coach's son. So he, he's probably a student of the game, knows a lot of things. And so uh, credit, another credit to the staff on keeping him uh, locked in to be a Tar Heel. Yeah. The coach's son thing is a great point because when you watch a lot of kids that are six, six, playing on defense in high school, 240 pounds, you have the kind of physique that Bryson Jennings has. They oftentimes just dominate kids, and they don't have to use a lot of skill. They don't have to use a lot of fundamentals to be successful. But when you watch his film, you can tell he's been coached up, and, he, and he, he's he got he's one of these kids that step, when he steps on campus, there's a lot of things he's already going to know how to do. There won't be a lot of bad habits for the staff to have to break with him. Yeah, and uh... – you know, he, he's coming from that central part of Virginia. We we talked about the Tidewater and the upper, um, the Washington, D.C., northern Virginia. But getting a kid from the Richmond, central part of that area is huge, too. So uh, credit the staff uh, targeting uh, Virginia kids and, and really dominating that state in recruiting. And also one of the themes we discussed is how Carolina has had to hold on to kids. They got a commitment and there've been poachers and that kind of thing. If there was a player, we, we haven't heard a whole lot about possible uh, UNC commits flipping. I know it was a concern. A lot of people have in the team was struggling this year. And we're like, guys, calm down. You know, if you're a member of our site, which is just $8 and 33 cents a month for a one-year subscription, you would know what Dina has been saying all along about, Hey guys, calm down. These kids, bunch of these kids aren't going to leave. They're, they're firm with their commitments. Jennings was one that people were trying to fill our ears with Virginia tech, Virginia tech, Virginia tech. And it's not like the Hokies weren't having a whole mess of problems themselves. And you never bought, you never bit bought into the possibility that he might leave. Well, um, you know, they got a new staff, so when you get a new staff, it's it's very smart for the staff to reach out to your in-state kids to just see if there were some interest in him being a, le a you know, a Hokie legacy. I'm sure Coach Pry reached out to uh, uh, Bryson, and, you know, Bryson has stayed true to the, the Tar Heels. Yeah, and when I say leave, I mean leaving his commitment. A little, little verbal typo there, if you will. Bryson Jennings, a four-star strong side defensive end. That's two of them in this class. Again, a lot of big defensive kids in this class. He is from Midlothian, Virginia, and he is the most recent member of Carolina's class of 2022 to sign his name on the dotted line uh, and stay with us because there's going to be more and we're going to discuss them as each one uh, rolls into the Keenan Football Center. We will have a podcast getting Dina's expertise on each of those young men. She's Dina. I'm AJ. We appreciate you stopping by.